My name is Andy Marcus and I'm a consultant neurosurgeon at the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery. My clinical interest is in pituitary surgery and in other operations at the base of the brain. And one of the real uh, challenges of these operations is access to the tumours when they're so deep. Historically, surgeons have managed to access these tumours by making very long incisions, very large openings in the skull, and by retracting the brain quite a bit. But of course, this comes at a cost to the patient's recovery. Nowadays, we do a much less invasive approach through the patient's nose, the so-called endonasal approach. But it's still very challenging for surgeons, particularly with large and complex tumours. It's challenging first because if you go down a narrow corridor of the nose, it's very difficult to be dexterous when manipulating neural tissue. And the second thing is it's very difficult to be delicate when handling long instruments in the same way that you would if you were using your own hands and using conventional instruments. So what we're hoping to do with our research is really tackle both of these problems by creating instruments which both allow for wrist-like dexterity even in these narrow corridors uh, and also allow a surgeon to have a much more uh, delicate sense of touch when manipulating this very, very um, fragile tissue at the base of the brain. And by doing both of these things, we really hope to ensure that this operation is always as safe and effective as it can be, and also to allow surgeons to continue to do this operation through the nose, when at the moment that is very challenging indeed.